على رسول الله محمد صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أحييكم بتحية الإسلام السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته اليوم إن شاء الله نود أن يكون باب مفتوح فمن عنده سؤال فليتفضل مشكورا لأي موضوع يختار Jade, so as the Sheikh said, he began by uh, praising Allah and sending the salat wa salam upon his messenger and saying that uh, today, inshallah, will be uh, an open session. So anybody that has any uh, particular questions, then please go ahead and click the raise hand button. Yeah, in any topic, and if it's related to what we covered directly or uh, other than that, then inshallah, click the, uh, the hand raise button. Is it there? If you could just give me a wave, do you see the hand raise button? Is it there? Yeah, okay. So Brother Irshad, uh, he's raised his hand. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. Ahlan, Brother Irshad. So a few weeks back, we had a lesson in which uh, we covered the hadith uh, about how Muhammad Sallallahu camel was defeated in a race. Towards the end of that hadith, there was a line that indeed Allah's right is that he does not raise anything in this world except that he also lowers it. Uh, is there anything specific from this line that we are supposed to be getting out of or everything that was we were supposed to understand from it was already covered in that lesson? Your, your question is too difficult, but <laughs> I, I try to answer, okay? <laughs> yeah. I don't know if the, there is certain angles I didn't cover it. You can highlight it to me, Jazakallah But I believe it's like the life. You start baby and the end, you cannot move from your bed. This is right. the, the thing, it's going up and then this is the life uh, because the end of makhluqatillah all the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will end uh, then it's become yawm al qiyamah so this is uh, the end of everything hmm. yes brother so, so as we understand, when uh, what I was trying to infer out of it was that if something is going good, like let's say, for example, if your business is going good, there would eventually be a time when Allah might bring it down. Is that what we're supposed to be understanding out of that? Uh, maybe as example, I'm saying, maybe your company will sit for 100 years, maybe 200 years. After this, it will go down. Maybe right. after 400 years. So why you put the frame just in your life okay your question is showing us so it's uh, right. something unknown something right. unknown but we believe that everything will go down this is the, uh, this is the way of the creation but, yeah, so, but, right i understand so that's the way of life as you understand yeah okay okay uh, if anybody had clicked the raised hand button uh, and it's not there anymore, then uh, maybe I took it out accidentally. So uh, you can uh, go ahead and click it again if uh, you tried to raise your hand. Uh, so I'll unmute now for uh, Yusuf, Yusuf Isam. Sorry. Sorry, Yusuf, I muted again. Uh, is I, I want to ask. Uh, I, I want to ask. Is there any particular uh, uh, dua or any particular uh, advice from uh, the Sunnah about uh, uh, strengthening the the like I think the last one says the, the the strong Muslim is Allah loves the strong Muslim. Uh, so is there any particular advice or behaviors or dua that we ask? I know, for example, Rabbana Atina fi dunya. Etc. But is there anything else that is like specifically called out, uh, which is uh, uh, to help strengthen your financial affairs or your uh, 
your ability and capabilities is there any particular dua yeah. or anything like that for my knowledge i don't have specific dua for what you ask exactly but you can ask directly i want to be as allah and akuna qawiyan as allah and you affiqani fi tijarati as allah al-rizq at-tawfiq sadad but something specific as i understood the question from my knowledge i don't remember something in this second okay brother mohammed razin assalamu alaikum alaikum assalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Uh, I want to ask regarding uh, a few lessons back. There was a uh, the topic was regarding there shouldn't be any organization formed for collecting charity and all this. So um, I came across in the sira of Abu Bakr radhiyallahu anhu that he would want to go to war with people who did not give the zakat. So from this uh, story, could we understand in a way that? um there was an organization in the time of the khalifa collecting the zakat i just want some clarity from the from the Clear. story yeah exactly yeah. of course the zakat the government should collect it from the people this is even in muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam life nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam he got a collector they want to the people and they collect from them the zakah even uh, there is a bedouin came to nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam bi hadith sahih and they say that the collector they collect from us uh, uh, more than what is not nor zulman what we can say yeah, oppressive that they take more than they are supposed to or they choose the best one from the uh, yani from the group uh, they choose the best so this is they call it zulm what is it oppression oppression so he nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam he reply he say urdu musaddiqihum be give them what they want let them be uh, radin uh, please them please them so i want to highlight here it's not just abu bakr this is from nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam up till the all the years they collect the zakat okay but this is different than me and you now we open a place to collect money or we and you we open inside the masjid a part to collect the zakat and sadaqa from the people it's too different okay so this is the government who do this the wali al amr why i don't we don't supposed to go to the people and ask them because the way of asking the people this is against the way of sahaba radiyallahu anhum arda because look if if you look near of you you will see these kind of people in different groups in different groups all the time they ask for money but if you look at sahaba history you will not find they ask for money at all at all so they change they make the person the religious person it's mean he collect money they give us this impression i'm saying and this is against what the sahaba was and this is will create many problems as we saw it here and there am i clear so what you said is correct but this is especially for the government to collect the zakat haqqullah ما هو حق الله the right of allah the right of allah zakat is a right of allah you don't give it because you want to give like sadaqa 
No, this is a right. You need to give it to uh, the collector from the government. Am I clear, brother? If you have yeah, any... Yeah, yeah exactly. No, I understand that. Yeah. yeah. So just to, to, to further emphasize what the Sheikh was saying, in the time of the Prophet, while the Prophet ﷺ was alive, none of the companions took it upon themselves and made it their own responsibility to go collect from any of the people. Likewise, in the time of Abu Bakr, when he was the ruler, then none of the other companions made it their own responsibility to go collect money from the people. It was only who Abu Bakr assigned that responsibility. Likewise, in the time of Omar anhu, when he was the ruler, it was his responsibility to assign who he wanted as the collector of the zakat. And it wasn't that other companions made it their responsibility for themselves to collect uh, separately from what the government was doing. Look, look to Bukhari, look to Muslim, look to Ahmed, look to Sufyanin, look to Abu Hanifa, look to Shafi'i, look to Malik. You never find one word they're asking for money for the poor people. You will not find. Al Imam Ahmed, I will give you a riwayah. It's very specific, clear. A man asked Imam Ahmed, he said, I know a poor people. Can I know a poor people? Can I ask the people to give me money to give it to them? He said, no, don't do it. If you look to the scholars, ulama sunnah, in the beginning, totally, it's opposite than what you are seeing it today. Look to Imam Ahmed. He said to this guy, this guy, he said, Imam Ahmed, I want to ask the people here to give me money because there is a family needed. He said, no, let them ask, not you. Now, when you see the religious people, they are يعني دائما ملتصقة فيهم الصورة سؤال المال. You, you can always associate the image of them uh, collecting money. If you think of religious people, it's like they make this as a uh, part of their, of their image or how people connect them with and associate them with this thing, this action. And this is what we saw, the Jewish, the Christian, the Buddhism, the Hondos. This is them way. This is not our way. Of course, I mean mostly. When I say, and what uh, Sheikh Adam say, mostly. Now. Exactly. Okay. Uh, Brother Ali Hassan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alaykum salam. Alan, Alan. Alhamdulillah, Toyib. How are you, Sheikh? Nice to see you, brother. Exactly. Sheikh, my question is regarding Akika. Can Akika be performed or given in countries other than the country you are living in? So, you mean you want to do the Akika not in your country, in other country? Yes. That's what I don't know about it. This is like al Udhiya. Do it where you are, where you live. Okay. But in this current situation, in this pandemic, the country we are living in, Singapore, there is no Udhiya. They are not doing it. So, Why? Because the government are not allowing us to do it. Last year, we didn't have it. You mean no sacrificing animals? Not, not, not during this uh, COVID-19 pandemic. So what they are doing is that they will get your name, register your name. They will do it in the country where they will import the, the, the animal, which is in New Zealand or Australia. And then they will send the meat and they will give it to you. Okay. That is what they did last year. Last year. Yeah. But can, this year you, seems to be the same, uh, same uh, uh, what do you call you it? Want, you want to be sure, you can do it in other countries and uh, uh, they send for you the meat. They okay. can send for you the meat. 
But in general, the ruling is the ruling of Wudu here. You give where you are living. The ruling, say it again, please. The same as Udhiya. Yeah, so the same, say, the same of Udhiya. This is what true. should be. Okay. Okay. From okay. where I said this, from where I said, because uh, uh, this is what Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the Sahaba, what they did. Okay, now. And we follow them. Okay. Zakullah Khair. Zakullah Khair. Brother Yawar. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam, ahlan. Khiyawar, kif al hal? Alhamdulillah, how are you, Sheikh? Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alam. Okay, Sheikh, I have, uh, have a few questions related to Salat al Istikhara. Naam. Uh, uh, first thing is, can we uh, pray Salat al Istikhara from a uh, Sunnah Rawatib? Or is it to be uh, other than all these prayers? I don't have Dalil that you that you put it, yani you join it with other uh, Sunnah Rawatib. I don't have a Dalil in this. Okay. okay. So, so better to okay. pray different. Uh, separately, yes. Yeah. Separately, different. Okay. And uh, check. Uh, and as as example, as example, if I enter the masjid, hmm. there is Sunnah Tahiyat al Masjid, right? But uh, when I pray, it will be a Sunnah Qabliya for as example for Dhuhr, uh, right or wrong? When I enter Salat al Fajr al Masjid. And I pray two rak'ah as a sunnah al-fajr and as a tahiyyat al-masjid, right? Right. So this is, there is a dalil in it, right? But uh, I don't have a dalil in the istikhara. Okay. Had ilmi, in my mind. Okay, and, she, okay, and can we, uh, how do we make dua? Uh, is it uh, after the salam or uh, before the salam? After. After, After the salam. Yes. Okay. And can we check uh, if we have not memorized the dua? Can we read it from the book? Yes. Even uh, even a sunnah fi salah salatul qiyam you can read from book. Okay. From okay. Okay. And the Okay. And the uh, most appropriate way would be to raise the hands, or can we just? Uh, you, you can raise, and you can without raising. This is sunnah. Okay. It's okay. not condition. Yeah. Okay. Okay, brother uh, Shahaz. Hello. Salam alaikum. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullah. A couple of weeks back, uh, brother asked a question about the pension fund, whether the, it is zakat liable. Uh, my, my question is monthly uh, from our salary, the pension is deducted and the government pension fund, they will invest in, in uh, uh, bonds and shares and stuff like that. It could be even interest income that they give. And at the age of 55, we are uh, only we are entitled to uh, withdraw it. So my question is, when we get it at the age of 55, well, are we entitled to take the full fund, which includes the profits from all these uh, uh, interest earnings as well, or should we only take the capital sum? You take everything. You take everything. Okay. If you ask me why, because there is a part of it halal, part of it, it's not haram. And this is from the government. I don't see it as a right. This is given from the government, but they do it as uh, you explain it right now. Okay, this is this is them uh, explanation 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 yes. for what they are doing. But 
it's a, a gift from the government. And if I want to approve for you this, I can tell you, let's say a person, he was, they was deducting from him the amount and he died and he got brothers and sisters. Do they will give them for the money for the, his brother and sisters? No. Right? Yeah. It's but but you can you can you can nominate somebody uh, like like your wife or children no, no, to no. get it w after. Wife, children, parents. This is I didn't mention them. I said yeah. brothers and sister. You cannot. Yes. This is the answer. So this is not your money. If it's your money, this is the right. You can give it to your brother and sisters. Right. They cannot uh, stop you because they deduct it how they say it. But I say this is from the government to the employee. Right. And the evidence for what I said that if it's his money, he got the right to ask, uh, to, uh, your brother have the right to ask for this money. But they say yes. no, even quit, yeah. even quit. This is the law. So yeah. this is, in my opinion, this is you, from the government to you. So you don't look what they did or something. You take it as a lump sum. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alami. Okay. Okay. Jazakallah okay. khair, Sheikh. Is it clear the evidence for what I told you? The brother? Yes, yes, Sheikh. Okay, thank you. Yes, yes, Sheikh. Jazakallah khair. Jazakallah. Uh, let's see. Assalamu alaikum, Sheikh. Alaikum assalam. Okay. Uh, it's about in the matter of Fidya. Uh, the person is in the States and he is an invalid. He can't fast. So for Ramadan, he wants to uh, send it across. He can't, he's in Maryland. And uh, it is inconvenient for them to go search for people. So he wants to give it over here. And um, we have identified some poor people who deserve it. But uh, the problem is that uh, there is no facility which uh, sells food. So is it possible for us to give the, the, the food items for them to cook instead? An equivalent amount for the three meals. I is it possible for them to? There is many things in your question, not just this part. The part that he wants to ship it or he wants to send the money, and other guy will take the money and buy the raw material of the food and give it to the poor people. This is your question, right? Correct. Uh, It is correct, yes. Yeah, I understood. Uh, I don't have an answer right, right now, brother. Let me think about it uh, next week, inshallah. Inshallah. Take care. Thank you. Yes, alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa Zakhlaw Khan for the advice, because here in America, sometimes we become victims of bad advice very easily. And I appreciate everything that both of you are doing. May Allah reward you greatly. My question is a two-part question. Uh, many years ago, before I became Muslim, I used to do day trading. And I was given the advice that it is impermissible for me to buy stocks in banks and bonds. So I wanted to know, here in America, is it permissible if it comes across an opportunity to buy bank stocks or bonds? Is it permissible for me to do that? My second question is, I am learning something new called Forex trading. I just started getting into it. I wanted to know, is it permissible to buy currency from other countries as well? Zakhla Okay. Okay. The bonds, it's Riba, clearly. Black and white. Regarding the shares of the banks, it depends which kind of banks is it. If the banks 
they are dealing with riba, you cannot buy with them because they are making a profit mostly from the riba. This is the banks, if it's regarding the third question, when you say about the currency, if you want to buy currency from other countries, this is what you are saying. Yes. As example, you want to buy the pound or other kind of uh, uh, currency. This is not the gold and this is not for that. You can buy currency. Yes. Okay, is that for five? The, the, the gold and fiddle, no, you need to buy it in a front. You put your money and you buy it. Clear? Clear. There is no delay in payments. But in uh, currency, you can do it. As example, you transfer your money to other countries. Uh, you exchange, I mean, the money to other uh, currency. That's uh, something mubah, you know? Yeah, permissible. Permissible, yes. I, one other quick question. So if you here, going back to uh, the day trading, if you have a, uh, an account with a broker, a brokerage house, and they have margin, can I use the margin to make purchases? If the margin, they take a profit in it, you don't have, uh, this is not right, because they give you loan and they take profit in it. But it, if they give you a money, and they take just the rate of uh, the brokering, how they do it. This the is brokerage something. fee. Yes, but not, uh, not the, uh, the money for uh, al qarz Yeah, so as long as there's not any interest on the margin loan that they give you. Okay. If there is no interest, yes. As example, I make it clear here. If I tell Adam, I am a broker, okay? In each deal, I take 1%. Example, Adam, I am broker. Adam gave me 1,000 pound. I buy for him, as example, uh, let's say Kuwait Finance House, as example, I'm saying. The share of Kuwait Finance House. And then when I, I buy it for him, I will deduct from him 1% because I am a broker. This is my benefit, right? I didn't give him a loan, but the procedure, what I did, they call it here as a broker. So I take 1% from $1,000. So this is $10 I took, right? When I... When Adam told me, okay, now I want to sell the shares of Kuwait Finance House, as example. Then I sell it, I will take 1% also, right? Let's say he sell it for $2,000. So I gave him here uh, $1,980. And I took $20 for me as a broker, okay? Then I said to Adam, da Adam, why you are working with 2,000? I can't give you $10,000 without I take from you anything. But as usual, when you buy Kuwait Finance House, I will take from you the 1%. But look to the point here. If, you, if Adam say, okay, and then he buy the shares, and he didn't sell it for four years or three years. If they say no, there is a condition here. You need to sell and buy in our money in one month or in one week or in one year. This is something else. It's not permissible. Okay. Because, I understand. Uh huh. They, it's supposed to be open. And my advice to you, this is not a religious issue. This is economy. Deal with your money. 
Don't do it more than what you get. Be cautious and take care. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, uh, Sheikh, I had a question. Uh, like, suppose I have given some money to someone in Sadaqa uh, to a poor person who was a needy, and afterwards I realize that I also have to give some zakat. So, can I con change my intention and uh, consider that money which I have given to that person and no. put it in my zakat account? No. No. As example for you, Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Al bayani bil khiyar, ma lam yatafarraqa. Al bayani bil khiyar, ma lam yatafarraqa. If there is two person, this man sold to this person, and then they left, they don't have the right to. This is in sales. How about sadaqa to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala? So you give okay. it to him, that's it. Okay. Jazakallah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, Mr. Brother Yawar, did you have a follow-up question? I have a different question related to insurance. I don't like this kind of question. Go ahead, the insurance. <laughs> okay, Sheikh. Uh, so, uh, when I buy a car in India, uh, uh, it's mandatory to have a insurance uh, as per law. So, let's say I buy insurance which is thirty thousand rupees, and uh, after some time, my car uh, has an accident, and the total bill that comes out of this repair is uh, let's say sixty thousand rupees. Can I use this insurance money to pay 60,000 rupees or I can use 30,000 rupees only which I have paid or I cannot use at all? Okay. To make it clear here, if you pay 10,000 rupees, then they gave you 30,000, okay? There is 20,000 more, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Right or wrong? Yes. Uh, am I right? Okay. Yes. You have the right in 10,000 and the remaining 20,000, this is you gave it to Ta'meen in the future. Don't put it in your bucket. Okay. You got it or not? Mm -hmm. Yes. Because you need to drive the car for 30 years, 40 years, right? Right. So use this money for every year you need to pay for them. But put it and write in it that your family knows about it. Am I clear? Okay, yes. Don't yes. use it to fix your car. Fix your car from your money and from the 10,000. But the 20,000 remain. This is you use it for the future to pay the insurance from it. Okay. The insurance fees, when, mm -hmm. when they require you to buy insurance for your car, keep using this money that they've given you. Okay. To pay for that, clear? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but don't take loan from them, from this <laughs> money. <laughs> don't touch it. Okay. Okay, just like a look. I did that. Okay. Okay. Was there any other question, brothers, or that's it? Okay. No one else uh, put a hand raise. Jazakumallah khair. See you later, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.